I respect that. Uh, I respect that quite a bit. It's understandable. Uh, that's and one should expect that if you're uh, going to enter into marriage, that the person has not violated their uh, the improper use of sexuality in that way. Now, is that a damning or a big X? No, because the reality is there are many, many Catholic marriages of couples that, for one reason or another, given the nasty sexual revolution we've had since the 1960s, that have fallen into Ill illegitimate sexual excess of one sort or another. And it's not, I mean, I, I know many fine marriages of people who've recovered from that. But nonetheless, it was always expected that, and it should be also the case for men. Obviously, I mean, there shouldn't be a double standard, but the reality is it always has, and it's understandable because the, the, the results in terms of a woman uh, losing her virginity are much more serious in terms of health, physical, uh, possibility of venereal diseases, infertility problems, and so on, particularly if there's been a promiscuous past. So it's understandable, but at the same time, I wouldn't say it's necessary, clearly. Because unfortunately in our society, if that was necessary, there might not be anywhere near as many number of marriages which there should be.